This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast for Tuesday, May 3rd. Or Belleville, Ontario, Canada. On the show this morning, we kicked it off with a nightmare. <laughs> Charity horrible. had this nightmare. It's horrible. That she woke up and it was Mother's Day and she was completely unprepared. Because <laughs> Mother's Day is like... so weird. It was so Mother's weird. Mother's Day is like your Super Bowl. And I mean that in a good way. Like you really, really... Like, like most women, you really love your mom and you don't want to disappoint her. So... To wake up and it's dream an that you're not day. ready for Mother's Day, and that's exactly what it was. That's what it's, that would affect yes. you all day. It would, yeah. it and yeah, it affected all night because that's the only thing I dreamt about last night that I know of. It was so vivid, but it was funny too because as I said to you, we started the day off doing this. I was here, I came to work, and then Mother's Day kicked in. So it was kind of that crossover of even yeah. though it's Sunday because I'm not typically here Sunday. So mm. it was weird that we were doing the show. But just waking up in that panic and running out of time, I didn't have anything ready. I didn't have a gift. I didn't have breakfast. I didn't have anything done for Mother's Day. Mother's Day. It's only five days away. And that, yeah. I think, is my subconscious telling me to get my butt in gear. You only have five days. Kick it up a notch. Let's go. Okay. I the, the part. See, this is only the part that I got. From mm. that nightmare. Okay. Was that your subconscious is thinking, how can I make this worse? Oh, here's Mark. Because <laughs> I'm not hear normally. What you hear. <laughs> I'm not normally a part of your Mother's Day festivities. No, in but any it, way. it was like Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday were gone. It was yeah. like Tuesday, Sunday. <laughs> like they were combined and I panicked. So I woke up panicked, but then relieved that it was Tuesday and I still had time. But not a lot of time. Not so a lot I gotta time. again get my butt in Ooh. gear here and get on it. Do you know what you're gonna do? No. No. <laughs> I was gonna I could pretend and be like, yes, but no, because I, I think that's idea. the other part of it because I really haven't thought about it. Okay. I've I've focused on other things the last couple of weeks. So this past weekend, again, a big one. Uh, for my parents, and then with Sunday, the Rainy Gorge run. So it was kind of, I'm taking it day by day. Right. <laughs> it's like everything. There's, okay, so today this is what I have on. Tomorrow yeah. this is what I have on. So I think, again, it's me telling myself, you have to look further ahead. Okay, <laughs> right, because it'll sneak up. up on you. Exactly, exactly. May I make a suggestion? Go for it. Perhaps your mother it. would like, because it's a little bit more expensive than it normally is, five liters of gasoline. You can get your mother. A gas card? I'll get her no, a gas card. No, just actually the five liters, because it's just <laughs> haul it up the laneway. Get a jerry can and just take it and put it in the, her driveway? Nothing says love more like than gas. gas these days. Mm. I don't. Maybe dad for Father's Day, that would go over well for it's mother. Long drive I, to the Sens I game from Campbellford. Yeah. No, I don't know that that would go over well for my mom. They go on Friday night? Uh, my dad is. My mother has her... I want to say 50th nursing reunion in Kingston. Sweet. Yeah. So she wow. she goes, I want to say it's an annual. I do believe <laughs> I'm an awful daughter. Every year they have their reunion, but this year in particular, I think it is the big one. I think it's 50 years this year. That would put what? What year would that be? 70? 72. Yep. Yep. So this right. is their 50th reunion. So she will be in Kingston Friday and Saturday with her, her nursing. I'll um, find your dad. Buddies. Because I'm going to be at the game. He will uh, be there, yes. Uh, I'll find your dad and we'll hang out for a bit. Because <laughs> that won't be stories at all. Tell me more. <laughs> what was she like in high school? Um, but <laughs> I do There's nothing to tell. I was I know. a perfect child. She was. There wink, wink, nudge, nudge. no stories. Anyway. Always came home on time. Never got in trouble. <laughs> and how'd you end up in radio? Um, we do this when somebody is elderly, and I don't mean this about your mother, when we say the remarkable things they saw in their lifetime. I yes. think a nurse who's been a nurse for 50 years, mm -hmm. the medicines, technologies. My mother's had a very interesting career. Holy smokes, you bet. But she wasn't, I went, she wasn't a nurse through that whole time. She was a registered nurse. She worked in Campbellford Hospital for many years, and then she became a VON. Yeah. So she went into people's homes. Much like a PSW, but right. different. Right, yeah. yeah. And uh, looked after people that way. And then she taught. She was at Loyalist for a few years. That's, a, that's so, amazing. So, yeah. yeah. No. Yeah. She, how And she has said that, how it's changed mm -hmm. through the years. And, and she has admitted she couldn't do it now because it's just so... 
So much more. Right? So much more. And yeah. the demands that are put on nurses now and the support that's there for, ne- for nurses now is just so different mm-hmm. than when she started. Yeah. And in 1972, everything could be sold with an apple and an aspirin. <laughs> and now, nope. A little bit more. A little, a bit, little more. bit more. Well, and, good yeah. for her. Good so, for her. Yeah. Get you set for tomorrow's kickoff to the playoffs with the Belleville Senators. They will be in Rochester tomorrow night and then game two in the series Back here Friday, if necessary, the best of three uh, will be Sunday. But more about that uh, tomorrow. On the show this morning, we had Mike Eden on. Always a good chat. Mike of yes. Leon's and fame and everything else. <laughs> he set a world record. He helped us set a world record just a few mo- years ago. And now he's bringing to Trenton this, I don't even know how to describe it, this project, this development. And mm-hmm. when you hear about it, I think, how does that even What makes someone decide to do this? You're going to be seeing it built Yeah, just off the Glen Miller Road exit on the 401. Mm -hmm. So it will be south of it on the Trenton side, of course, kind of behind Leon's. Uh, I heard yesterday was, I think it's 18 acres big. It's huge. It's got a whole bunch of stuff. and and Restaurant, shopping, fun for the family. Like it's kind of a Mm one-stop. It's a destination. Destination for everyone. And uh, as always, I'm surprised at how long, you know, they kind of arrived at it. So we gave Mike a call this morning and uh, get a load of his ideas. Good morning. How are you guys doing? We're good. Mike Eden, formerly just of Leon's and custom (laughs) carts now of everything. (laughs) Homestead Marketplace, a big announcement yesterday, Mike. And uh, it's incredible, this, this destination, as described, where families will come together to shop eat and play the pictures on in quinty show this amazing building tell us about it what is behind this and and what exactly is it yeah well it's uh it's a site right located behind uh behind leon's just to the west and uh my wife and i've been working on this for quite some time and um you know it involves as you say a charity it's uh it's uh, a shop eat play um it's a site that you know within its sort of intention is to serve the community whether it's uh, you know shopping for things for your home uh, or simply coming out for a night and evening uh, the, the dining options include some beautiful patios um, and it's just going to be a great environment you saw I think the, uh, the mini putt high road uh, rendering so there's just going to be a lot to do and uh, a real gathering place for, uh, for visitors to the community and also for the residents of the community it was a groundbreaking groundbreaking yesterday and perfect right off of the uh, the 401. What's the timeline on it, Mike? Well, the ground break, uh, you know, obviously was yesterday. And, um, you know, due to, uh, I know we're all sick of hearing it, but due to, uh, you know, supply shortages and so on, we're having to be a little bit more patient regarding uh, the dates. And we're not being given a date uh, from our contractor. But I, I, I suspect um, it's going to take a little more than a year. Probably this time, uh, maybe maybe June, or, or possibly as late as July uh, of next year. So, you know, sadly, it's going to take a little longer to get this thing over the finish line, but mm-hmm. uh, it's it's well on its way. Okay, so Victoria Day long weekend this year is out. <laughs> <laughs> that it is. That it is. Mike Eaton, uh, once again with the groundbreaking, how easy was it to get partners involved with these other businesses? Uh, well, again, that was a process. Um, you know, for, for my wife and I, we kind of feel like the project's almost finished. And the reason I say that is because um, I, I know from the public's perspective, it looks like it's just beginning. But uh, the work that has been done over the last two and a half years uh, with its concept, and as you mentioned, Mark, um, uh, bringing partners to the site is a real process uh, to a lot of time and uh, we've done you know just a countless number of hours of, of work to get to this point uh, but we're proud to say there's a lot of companies that want to be a part of our growing community um, and uh, we're super proud to uh, to, to uh, hopefully in the near term start announcing some of these brands that are coming I think everyone's going to be quite happy. Yeah, Mike, you always seem like you're you you have all these balls in the air. You're always busy. You're you're very much in the community, wanting to to give back. But I have to ask, where did this come from? What was the inspiration for this idea? Why why would you would you take this on to to do this? <laughs> yeah, it's uh, sometimes I ask myself. Yeah. You know, it's, uh, <laughs> isn't there another? 
Isn't there another world record you like, want to go for? I'm, I'm really not surprised because of the world record, but well, you know, you know, I think from a you know from the outside, just, most people probably just see the work involved in making something like this happen. And of course, it is a lot of work. I do not do it on my own. Uh, my wife and I have a tremendous team of uh, people that are helping us uh, develop Homestead Marketplace. But to answer your question, Charity, I, I think, um, you know, uh, when I first got in business, I thought it was just business. Um, you know, when I started working for my dad and my mom, I just thought it was, uh, you know, you went to work and you worked and you tried to do a good job and you went home. Uh, but as I get older, um, both my wife and I see a, a broader uh, community. And, you know, the more you do with the community, the more you start to get a sense of the needs and um, how special our community is. Operation Stand Proud, which you guys were a huge, huge partner in, you know, that was a call to action to support our troops. And, um, you know, we, 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 we hoped we could get some people out, but almost 4,000 people within our community came mm. mm-hmm. uh, and, and endured the heat and did the work. And we broke that record and we showed our, our military families our support. And when you have things like that that are successful, you just want to do more and um, that's how we feel it's how we've always felt and uh, this investment is going to really help us uh, from an infrastructure perspective do even more in the community and we're really excited to cut that ribbon and uh, introduce uh, all the brands that want to support our community as well and really uplift the community with more jobs and um, you know more excitement and uh, it's just going to be great. We're quite excited. All right. We're looking forward to that for it next time. We're going to hold you to it yeah. because I know things are what they are. But it's just great that you've got a nice timeline together, and we look forward to hearing more. Mm-hmm. Mike Eden, uh, congratulations again, and thanks for spending a bit of time this morning. Drive safe. Thanks so much, guys. We appreciate your support. They must have really interesting conversations <laughs> in the car. What do we want to do next? Exactly. I, don't know. I wondered if after the the Canadian, the Maple Leaf. Operation Leaf, Stand yeah, Proud. Operation yeah. Stand Proud. If after that, literally the next day, he and his wife Nikki are sitting around the table and they're like so (laughs) what do you want to do now and then because as he said behind the scenes of course this didn't just happen it took preparation and work and pulling people together and Mm -hmm. and all these little details to to come together to make it happen so yeah literally because that was what three years ago yeah three or four years ago yeah so yeah to be just you know what would be great let's create this homestead marketplace where we can offer shopping and patios and people to come and people will come from other places to visit us and people in the community. Like no, how, good, it'll bring jobs. Yeah, all these yeah. jobs and money into the area and let's let's do it. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's so good. I, it's wonderful. It's know, so exciting. I know enough about city planning too that it it can be difficult to put the cart before the horse. Often you will create these buildings or you'll have like the mm-hmm. anchor building and then the smaller partners will show up because they've got it. Sounds like he's got his partners in line. Yeah. So it's like, that's all the work. Usually you have these buildings and then you put up a four lease sign right on the side of the 401 and somebody who wants to open something who needs 1200 square feet there might you call go. you. No, no, no. Yeah. He's done all the work already. Well, he and Nikki, both of them have done all mm-hmm. the work already to get these partners so that, as he said, when this thing opens in, I don't know, let's just say 15 months, give or take, it's all done. Yeah. There's not constant construction for two or three years as they try and get yeah. new people in. Like when everybody's it opens, there and ready everybody's to go. Everybody's there. Remarkable. And I love the fact we when he said this, because two weeks ago when the Belleville Chamber of Commerce held their president's dinner, mm-hmm. virtually everybody who won a business award did it because of their community involvement. And they didn't, uh, and, and he said that, you know, I used to think business was business. Mm-hmm. But the more I got into business, I realized that if you're not making it better for everybody, then it's just a store. Then I'm just selling couches. Well, but Leon's does so much I was more. Say, and Mike, if, as a family. If you want an example of a business, but also who incorporates the community, yeah, it's Mike and Leon's. Like Mike Eden has yeah. done so much for the community and, and continues to and mm-hmm. wants to and is creating things to involve the community and to give back. To the community. Yeah. So it's great to see. So and it's very exciting. Job's good for business. It's going to look great off the 401. That's it is. just, it's oh. really cool. So we're we're looking forward to that. So uh, congrats and, and hats off to that. Uh, coming up tomorrow, Throwback Thursday for Burger Revolution is going to be uh, unveiled. <laughs> Whether I like it or not, it's going to be unveiled. This is my. You should 
like it. It took you all morning to find a song, oh and it's gosh. a great song. Yeah. It, and it hits it hits the nail on the head, there's no question. So I don't know why you're not more excited about this. Because I am now afraid of Throwback Thursdays. <laughs> you shouldn't be afraid. I used to that. think I was really good at this. I really thought when we came up with the concept of Throwback Thursdays that you would never win. <laughs> I was so did. sure. Because you're not competitive at all. Not at all. Well, so we both laugh you, yeah. at how competitive <laughs> we are, but I laugh more. Yes. Um, I, I thought when we do our themes, I'm always going to have a better song than you because, you know, I'm a failed singer-songwriter, and I just love so much music. I can't think of the last time I ever won back-to-back weeks. Oh, it hasn't weeks. been that long. Back-to-back weeks. You went on a stretch there in the new year. Don't see. Everybody thinks won. that I win no. every week. Yes, you That did. is not the case. I had a dry spell there, and now I am just, it goes in waves. Does it? In lulls. Does it? Yes, it does. I, I go for a few weeks. You go for a few weeks. And I think we're really getting into your season because May is your second favorite month. It's my second favorite month. month. It's got to so be. So now that we are in May, you're going to pull out all the punches. And I, I do believe this is the week because coming in this morning, I thought I was going to go with Jan Arden. I thought I'll just fall back Good on what again. I know. Yeah, yeah because yeah. that is a wonderful song. Yeah, it is great song. And I'm, oh my I'm gosh, proud of my song out too. Jan Arden tickets. Yeah, so, for yeah. our Mum Pressions contest. But my pick, I feel confident with until I heard yours. And now I really question who's no, going to come out on top. No, no. Okay. It Are you going to change yours? It is such a, a heartstring puller that uh, I really, I don't know who's going to win this week. We normally don't tell you, but we're going to. Because it isn't just Because Mother's about Day moms. is on Sunday. Yeah. So it's about Mother's Day. But we wanted to come up with female singers who are moms, who yeah. are kind of famous for being moms. And music around being that mom. role, right? Yes. So, and there aren't a lot of those songs. There, there just aren't. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you had a great one. It's like, okay, well, I'm dead. Uh, exactly. And then <laughs> you didn't even know it was about yeah, I her didn't. becoming a mom. No, I didn't. So I had no, no idea. And so then when no, you that doesn't it, mean it's like, okay, well, I'm gonna get hammered. Whatever. And then I thought of a song, and I thought, ooh. So anyway, we'll have that. <laughs> so we just talked for three <laughs> minutes and told you nothing. But anyway, to all You're of the You're going to have to listen tomorrow All of the listeners out. who are texting in, trying to bail me out with ideas from the mamas and the papas to Carol oh, King's song she wrote about papas. being a mom. And it was like, mm, those are all good, kind of old, but those are good. I really wanted to hit it out of the park. And then I think I came up with one, which tells me I'm wrong. No, I don't I'm, think so. Because a few of those suggestions, head. I want to say, don't listen to those people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't go with that one. Yeah. No. But we will unveil they're that not tomorrow. Good. It's not that they're not good songs. Right. It's just, if you want Mark to win, you got to pick songs people know. <laughs> there right. are a few that... You can get behind. Mm, I don't know if that's And I have really... to be able to sell it because yeah, exactly. clearly if I can't sell it to you. <laughs> yeah, it would be nice if you put down. some effort into it, yeah. Mark, and really sell yourself. <laughs> so I'm going to try and come out of my shell tomorrow and do a better job on Throwback Thursday for Burger Revolution. Tomorrow also we've got the annual look at what moms really want for Mother's Day. Yes. It comes up every year and it makes me laugh because it never changes. Although there's a few wrinkles here and there. Okay. You know, on on things. But really just get along, help out and love her. That's what she wants for Mother's Day. I told you that I would look and try and think of some mumisms or mum pressions from my own mother. Yeah. One of hers was around Mother's Day because every year you ask her Mm -hmm. what would you like for mother's day mom what would like what do you want we will do and (laughs) not that we didn't throughout the rest of the year but she always asked for mother's day i just want everybody to get along i just don't (laughs) right right (laughs) just get along i just want everybody to get along just if you can do that for me on mother's day (laughs) Not that we were always fighting, but that just came to mind. So and you can't even first. do that, can you? Yes, we can. <laughs> of course we can. Okay, For I Mother's thought, Day, we could. Okay. <laughs> I thought, is there a bad ending to this story? No. And it never no, it happened. makes us sound like we were always fighting. We weren't. But you do bicker as siblings. And I know with my two boys, I, I now say that too. Yeah. Can we all just not get along? Please. Like just, just for one day. one day. Yeah. <laughs> and then 
Become idiots for Father's Day. Exactly. I don't really go I don't crazy really on Dad's Day, but on Mom's Day, let's get along. So we'll have all of that coming up for you tomorrow morning, and again for the Mom's Expressions contest. Uh, enter through our website at ninety five five hitsfmca We've got Jan Arden tickets. We've got uh, money to enjoy at Steve Marshman Fine Jewelry and Custom Design. Live Love and Laugh Flowers and McDowell's your independent grocer every day this mm-hmm. week, being up to Mother's Day on Sunday. It's Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast here on Spotify, Amazon Podcast, Apple Podcast, wherever you get your podcast up by 11 o'clock weekday mornings join us tomorrow morning on 95.5 hits fm and if you've joined us somewhere in this crazy world of ours you can still catch it at 95.5 hits fm.ca